Hi everyone. Uh, I'm gonna try this again. I uh, scraped this canvas, put the base back down on it. It is uh, parchment by Artist Loft. And I did a little bit of experiment. I didn't like it, so I swiped it. And we're gonna start over. A um, little bit inspired by Anne Ritterhoff, I think is her name, is how you pronounce it. If I'm saying that wrong, sorry, Anne. Um, I like how she does her turquoises and browns, and um, I tried the red, as you can see on my piddle pad there, I think, yeah. Uh, we're not crazy about the red, so I'm going to do her, she always goes with Burnt Sienna, so I'm going to do the Arteza Burnt Sienna. Um, I have Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt, Artist Loft Aqua, and then next up here in my cups, which I've added three drops of silicone to, uh, which I had more in this cup before, uh, about probably about four ounces. This is Caribbean by Apple Barrel, one of my favorite light turquoise. I have some raw umber in here, which is looking a little thick. I might, no, I don't want to thin that down because it's got silicone in there already. And then my little play play one I have today. I don't know how much I have left, but this also has silicone. This is the uh, folk art chalk mixed with some of the uh, parchment and then a little bit of um, gold and a little bit of the burnt umber and some gold just to kind of get it to match the base color. And this is the chalk. I meant to order milk paint and I got it mixed up with chalk. So we're just going to try a little bit of experiment and see if that does anything. I got this really cool canvas. It's an 8 by 24 inch. And so I'm using that today, kind of long and skinny. Look really good uh, hung vertically. <clears throat> and it is a gallery wrap. I can't show you, but it is a gallery wrap canvas on the back. So, and these colors that I have here today are kind of my interior colors in my living room, kitchen, and dining room. It's all one big great room. So I, uh, I'm hoping this comes out the second time better than the first time because I would like to hang it in my house. I'm gonna, I'm planning on resining it, and it's gonna be for my house. I don't do that a whole lot, but uh, so I have these paper. Um, toilet paper rolls that I've cut. I'm using the end, the flat end, that isn't my cut. It's their cut. Because my cut, as you can see, is not even. So I just use the ends, cut them off, and use their end. Last time I did six, it was too much paint. So this time I'm going to try four. And... I don't know. I'm going to do... I'm going to try things a little bit different this time, but... We'll see how it goes. So a little bit of an experiment. Um, and like I said, three of the colors have silicone, three of them don't. So let's go ahead. Last time I started with the metallic cobalt. I think I want to do that again. Love this metallic cobalt. Uh, it's actually cobalt blue. It's actually a really true blue. But when they add, they add a gold metallic to it. So that's what turns it kind of the turquoisey, because uh, yellow and blue make green. So that was the, um, I'm trying to layer the silicone and non-silicone colors too. So that was a non-silicone color in my bottle. So this one is a silicone. I'm going to add that. I'm going to try not to put as much paint this time. I think I'm just going to do, try to do one of each color. One layer. Okay. And then we're going to go in with some of the... Mm, let's do the... No, I don't want to... I'm trying not to use another silicone color. I need to use a color in the bottle, and I don't want to put the burnt sienna right on top of that blue. So let's give some more of the chalk parchment color. A little bit more of that on top of there, just so it's not mixing directly. Okay, 
And then we're going to go in with the Arteza Burnt Sienna. All right. And then I'm going to add Let me see. add some of the raw umber. Hopefully I didn't say burnt umber at the beginning. This is raw umber, which is darker. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with some more of the light. I'm already getting too much paint in these cups. As Christina says, it should be pinky. That's probably a good rule to follow. Um, but I want to get some more of that in there and a little bit. I don't know if I used the aqua. I did that in my last video too. I'm trying to remember if I used the aqua or not. All right. I think that's plenty of paint. So it's already starting to bubble. I'm going to move these. I, I didn't move them around very much last time and I I want to give them more movement. I'm going to slide this one off completely because I can already tell Four was too many, or I'd put too much paint in there. So I'm going to get that one off of there. And that way I can slide this one up into this space. And then I can bring it back. And then I can tilt some of that paint down to the other end. Get a little bit of a tilt before I use the torch. Nope, now I can tell it's not, not going to be enough down at that end. Okay, so let's dip this in the base paint and let's pull some of that paint down here to this other end. Hopefully I'm not getting mud. And should not have uh, taken that other cup off. It would have been fine. So now I'm just gonna add some paint back in. Move this paint around a little bit. I'm not completely worried. You can probably see that my sides aren't completely covered and I'm not worried about that because it's just parchment. So I can uh, go back over it, not a big deal. Just wanna get some paint back in that area there. 
tilt a bit. Tilt a little bit more. All right, I'm liking that composition a lot more. I am gonna blow out some edges. And I wanna blow some of that puddle into that area. Let me wipe my hands off real quick. I do like, thank you, Anne. I do like the burnt sienna much better than the red. I wish there was some, let me figure out how I can add some more uh, aqua into this like that aqua yeah that's better I still have not torched this, so let's give it a torch. I did torch my base coat. I like the big, uh, the big cells that we've got. It's pretty cool. All right, let's do some blowing with the straw. wanted to blow that into that area because we had a little bit of, we still have some canvas showing there. Well, the pants are too thick to do it by my mouth. So I have to be the straw. I'm getting a little lightheaded, so I'm going to stop for a minute. And I'm going to turn this around so I can blow in the other direction. I have some pretty uh, stuff going on underneath there, so I might dip some cabochons when I'm finished. Okay, got you back in the frame? Yeah, pretty much.
I do like this one better. The colors are really pretty. Got some really good sale action going on. The blue took over a little bit. And I'm just trying to decide if I want to do a couple of uh, balloon smashes just to give it a little bit of more interest. Although it has some cool stuff going on. Got lots of sale action going on, that's for sure. But I'm glad that I only put it in the in a few of the cups. I'm just tilting it down a little bit. I like what's going on in that middle area, so I thought I would trip it down a little bit. Oh yeah, I opened up some of that aqua down here too, which is cool. Yeah, very pretty. Happy with the colors. It will look nice in my living room when I get it resin. And I don't think it needs any balloon smashes. Although, ooh, it's the temptation is horrible. Because <laughs> it would be really fun to balloon smash this. Um, yeah, I really like this, what's going on here, though. So I don't think I want to mess that up. I love that burnt sienna that's coming up through in the, the raw umber here. Uh, it's going to dry darker. Almost, probably almost like a black. So there, I think I'm going to leave it there. And I will hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you next week. And um, hope you guys have a good week. See you soon. Bye.